Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the New Zealand region for the time frame of September 30 through to October 2nd, 2015. The powerful planetary alignment of Earth-Sun Mercury takes place with just two days separation of the important supermoon or the moon's nearest approach to the Earth for the entire year. This three day window highlights the potential for a seven magnitude earthquake. We're now looking at the important lunar influences that will be in play during the month of September. Now this will be a significant month in terms of lunar influence due to the supermoon, which is the moon's nearest approach to the Earth for the year. But you also have a series of celestial interactions which tie into these lunar influences, which does highlight this time frame as significant. From September 26 right through to October 2nd is a very high potential for a significant earthquake and a land-based and also shallow event. It is worth noting that September 28 marks the supermoon or lunar perigee and just two days after the important planetary alignment will take place between Earth, Mercury and Sun. Now just two days of separation is important as a past history of strong earthquakes across the New Zealand mainland have occurred due to the same symmetry and we get this again from September 26 through to October 2nd which does indicate a strong earthquake potential for the New Zealand mainland. We're now looking at the exact overhead or longitudinal position of the Moon at the time of both events. We see that the lunar perigee, which takes place on the 28th of the month, its overhead position will be over the South Atlantic Ocean. While on the 30th, the important planetary alignment of Earth, Mercury, Sun, the Moon will be positioned directly overhead the New Zealand mainland. It is worth noting that the Earth will be involved in four alignments during the month of September, as well as the important partial solar eclipse on September 13 and the total lunar eclipse on September 28. And now for the New Zealand forecast for this potential 7 magnitude earthquake. Data and analysis suggests a strong shake could be possible for the top end of the South Island New Zealand, specifically isolating the Marlborough Fault system. My second area of concern will be for the North Island New Zealand or the Wellington Fault. Areas of focus will be Wellington, Marsterton and Palmerston North. The next area of concern will be for the Cook Strait in between both islands of New Zealand. Now earthquakes in the shaded area listed in this page would more than likely be fairly deep, 100 to 300 kilometres in depth. The next area of concern will be just off the east coast of the North Island New Zealand. Now this area is susceptible to strong earthquake swarms and it could be multiple events if the earthquake is to occur in this region. Other areas nearby would be just offshore Gisborne and further into the Hawke's Bay region. And the final area of concern will be the central North Island New Zealand in and around the regions of the volcanoes which are situated. Now the concern is that there may be volcanic activation if a strong earthquake were to occur in this zone and that is the main concern for this watch. The main faults to watch during this period would be the Marlborough Fault system in the top end of the South Island New Zealand. The areas of focus would be the Hope Fault and the Aotearoa Fault and less likely but also possible the Clarence Fault. For the North Island of New Zealand, the key fault will be the Wirriarapa Fault and also the Wellington Fault systems. New Zealand is the most active place on the Earth in terms of earthquakes. Since 2010, nine earthquakes have been registered over six magnitude, makes this area perhaps one of the most hazardous places to live. As we can see, the shakes that have come in clusters since 2010, multiple events in 2010 and 11 around the South Island New Zealand and Christchurch have migrated northward from the Pegasus Bay into the Cook Strait and recently earthquakes in the North Island New Zealand in and around the Palmerston North region and Wellington. Now this trend may continue, there could be another shake in and around this region for the North Island or could be a further progression heading back south. And finally wrapping up the video, there is a potential for a volcano to be activated across the New Zealand North Island. Now the volcanoes of focus will be definitely Lake Taupo and Ruapehu. There's also White Island could become active again and it's definitely worth consideration during this watch. Further supporting a strong shake for the New Zealand region, the upcoming Earth-Mercury Sun alignment has a strong mirrored symmetry into the September 4, 2010 planetary geometry is almost identical. We see the position of Venus and Mars with respect to the Earth is strikingly similar. So this would indicate a potential for an echo in time perhaps and a strong earthquake for the New Zealand region could be possible based on this symmetry. Back in 2013 a video was created and a forecast for the New Zealand region for 2013, 14 and 15. Now I did expect a strong earthquake to occur in 2014. The time frame was August 8 through 10 and a strong earthquake was expected. 
We end up getting a very big earthquake in the Micronesia region, magnitude 6.8, five days prior to this forecast. Based on the sun's apparent movement or Earth's precession, the potential for a strong earthquake will be much more likely this time around, late September into early October. So I'm concerned and perhaps much more confident on an event this time around for the New Zealand region based on this information alone. And that concludes this volcano and earthquake watch for the New Zealand region for the time frame of September 30 through to October 2nd, 2015. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers as well as a website newsletter. I am also available on my new Facebook page, Quake Watcher. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of this video. And I will add a small clip of the past earthquakes and the Earth Mercury Sun alignment symmetry and the New Zealand region. Thanks for watching. We're now going to look at the historical significance of past earthquakes. A magnitude 6.3 earthquake struck Christchurch on February 22, 2011. This earthquake had 183 deaths associated. Magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck Dartfield, Canterbury on September 4, 2010. This was a widely felt earthquake felt all across New Zealand. A powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck Dusky Sound in the Fiordland region. This occurred on the 15th of July 2009. Now, this was the biggest earthquake since the Buller and the Hawke's Bay earthquakes of 1929 and 1931. A magnitude 6.7 earthquake struck in Gisborne on December 20, 2007. This was a powerful offshore earthquake that caused extensive damage to the Gisborne region. A 7 magnitude earthquake struck in the Wariarapa region on the 2nd of August 1942. This was a devastating earthquake, the second 7 magnitude earthquake for the year. The second occurred on the Earth-Mercury Sun alignment. A magnitude 7.6 earthquake in Ahororica region on the 5th of March 1934. This was a widely felt earthquake, even felt as far as Dunedin.